You're watching the Big 12 on ESPN. It's a sellout crowd in Ames, Iowa for two of the many teams separated by one game at the top of the Big 12. Yeah, these teams already won more games this year than they did all of last year, so they've taken a big step forward. Kansas won the toss and deferred, and Tabor Allen's kickoff rolls in for a touchback. Last week only completed 48% of his passes, but I do have to tell you, when you watch all of his tape, he has grown as a passer in a big way. Well, here he is to the air for the first time, and he gets it to the outside for Quentin Skinner. Breaks off down the sideline, and Skinner goes out of bounds just shy of midfield. That's what the coaching staff told his second fastest player. Here's to the air, a slant, and that is caught. And that's Tanaka Scott. It's a big deal today with his five interceptions on the year. On fourth down, they go for it. And B needing 10, rolls out. He's under pressure. He throws it downfield, and a jumping catch is made by Arnold. How about this? They got four to the far side of the field. Bean pumps, takes off on a draw. Now he throws, and Arnold's there for a touchdown. Kansas strikes first. There is a flag in the end zone. Ineligible player downfield on the pass. Number 67, offense. Five-yard penalty, second down. They will do a lot of this. It's Casey and Neal in the backfield for the Jayhawks. Neal, left side, edge, touchdown. Now Kansas strikes first. By Mr. Lawrence Arnold, and then just blocking it up beautifully and actually show their coach that his trust in them was warranted. A very young group, Matt Campbell told us, as young as we've ever been. Pressure comes on back, and he stands in and fits one into a tight window for another freshman in Ben Bramer, and it's a first down. Connected with Bramer that time. And now from the 41, pressure off the edge, and Bent has nowhere to go. Gets dropped for a sack and a loss of six back at the 35. Into all the throws and making sure he had nowhere to go. And they brought two guys off the edge. So Becht is actually right. That's not where they want to be. They want to be on the plus side so they can continue to run the ball and take pressure off the quarterback. Tyler Perkins gets a low punt away to Luke Grimm, who fills it inside his 25. And Grimm takes it across the 35-yard line. Just like the Jayhawks were last season, among the best in the country. On third down, Bean toward the sideline for Grimm. And he floats it in there, complete, and a conversion to Luke Grimm. Well, on fourth down and three, Lance Leipold will kick it with Seth Keller, and Keller comes up empty. To make Rocco Beck beat them throwing the football because they are attacking that running game. Back to throwing here. Quick one, and he's picked. Mello Dotson off to the races. Another pick six. <laughs> Mello Dotson almost looked like he had a magnet on his body. That's how fast that football just stuck to his chest right there on that interception. In two weeks? Man, whatever this guy's doing, let me get some of that. Rocco just misses the throw up the field. When you throw those hitch routes, you got to put it on the outside. So far, they've stifled all of that energy, and the fans are sitting down. Lance Leipold's group with the 14 zip lead on Matt Campbell's Iowa State team. And Jalen Nolan is off to the races down the sideline. No! Tripped up inside the five. My goodness. What a run right there. Watch this. Jalen Nolan's going to set up his blockers perfectly. And right here, whoop, whoop, in and out, gets it going. He said, man, get off me. Hit him with a Derrick Henry stiff arm there on the sideline. I wish he could have got his feet up because that would have been one heck of a top 10 sports in a highlight. But right there at the very Yeah, great Saturday, Matt. We welcome you back to Ames. Big third down and nine for Iowa State. And Rocco back to gets dropped for a sack back near the 40 by Rich Miller. All right, midway through the second quarter, pivotal drive here for Iowa State, trailing by 14 at home. Go to the air with Beck, and he spins away, gets it off to the sideline, and it's caught at the 40. With the little spin move backdoor action. Watch him right here. Goes with the play action fake. He has his feet underneath him. Plays through that. Four-man rush. 
Beck wanted a quick one. He takes off, and Rocco Beck pushes forward. It is very close and appears to be just a little bit short. If they try to work this ball to Luke Grimm once again. Third down and seven. Pressure picked up. Bean to the sideline, and he's got a completion. It was around 116 left. How about this? Owen Keeper Curtis is coming out to try from 50. He's the backup, and it's no good. From the 41. Beck rolls out. He throws, and he's got Stanley. Inside the 20. Iowa State in motion and into the red zone. This one is from 35 for the veteran. And Chase Contreras gets Iowa State on the board. He's in his safe space up there, and defense is hating. Yeah, he's in there somewhere orchestrating. It's Wildcat here that he calls on. Good to see Daniel Highshaw back into the game, and Highshaw keeps on plowing forward. And now out at the sideline, we have an official go down. Late flag flies in, and a couple of guys still tied up over there. Yes, yeah, so you're going to see here Daniel Highshaw taking on all the Cyclones there, staying on his feet as they're dropping like flies. With your eyes and the ball in your hands before you try to go make a move, more drops happen by that than anything else. Now Bean pumps it and throws to the sideline. He's got Quentin Skinner coming back to the ball at around the five. On a march down the field, coming out of halftime for the Jayhawks, trying to add on to their lead. Neil. This time for a touchdown for the Jayhawks. So you're going to see number 47, Jared Case is going to come across the formation. And really, he's not trying to get the football. He's just trying to kick out the block and watch all. I mean, it's third and 15 right here, but they've been averaging third and 10, mm. which is unbelievable. Pressure. Quick access. And out of the backfield, Norton finishes the run. And Cartavius Norton's got a first down. At some point, if I'm the quarterback, I try to find that one-on-one -on -one matchup and give him a post deep down the field. But that's the offensive coordinator's job, not Rocco Betts. On third and long, it's Stanley. Up to the races. And finally, grabbed at the ankles near the 10. First. Have you noticed a trend? Whenever Rocco Beck gets outside the pocket, he seems to be dropping times on this Kansas defense. And right there, pull around, and Eli Sanders just follows his blocker, kicks out the outside guy, stretches it to the edge, gets that nice big old hole. They're going to try to cut the deficit to 10. Give to Sanders. Bounces it. Sanders for two. And it's a 10. This is how you know a guy has some speed. He outran all the angles. Three-man rush. Bean for Skinner. Diving bid, and Skinner made the catch. Wow! My goodness. Quentin Skinner, one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Watch him locate the football, and then let out. But because the safety went and hit the receiver, it certainly should have been a flag. Damon Graves punt toward Jalen Knoll. Makes a fair catch at the 10. One of these middle of the field routes with the two high safety ball. On third down and 12 against a four-man rush. He does go to the middle of the field, and he's got Knoll. Jalen Knoll. They're just trying to wear them down so that later in this game he can pop a big one. Here's Knoll. He can throw it. Knoll down. Second down and goal. Beck himself takes it out. Cyclones. They got the momentum. All the way outside and then use Cartavius Norton to be the lead blocker for Rocco Beck. Sometimes you got to give it to the running backs. But All right, Matt. And some spin cycles there. We've had some here. They got a big stage for Kansas with the ball up by three, and Jason Bean wants to throw. 
deep shot, Arnold! He is gone! Oh, oh my goodness. 80-yard touchdown strike. Watch how they set this up, off with a speed option. Snyder and get him down the field. Lawrence Arnold, that man took himself a stroll. In the flat that went for a big game, and they're actually trusting Beck to make plays using his arm. Here he is, making one to Daniel Jackson. Inside the 15. Instead, to make it a one-score game from 29 for Chase Contreras. And Contreras is good to trim it to seven. Bean pulls it, floats it, Casey's got it! For a first down in a plus territory. And then you come here to Ames. Something they hadn't done, we told you, since 2008. It's the last time Kansas had a winning record. Well, they've got win number seven, and Lance Leipold's team takes down Iowa State in Ames. You know, the keys are clanging in Lawrence right now for the Kansas Jayhawks. Give something.